Hi guys, Dave's here. Well, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to import an image into Vectric Expire or VCarp Pro. I'm using the older version, version 8, but this will work on the newer versions too. Um, we need an image that's uh, it's pretty high resolution. Okay. Now we're in Google, we're going to do a search, and I typed in Dodge Ram logo because a friend of mine wants me to carve him something, and uh, I've checked the box under images. But let's go one step further here. Go over to Tools, go to Size, you want a large. Color, we want black and white. And I'm going to get this one right here, you see it's it's 2400 something by 2500 so let's click on it right click save as and here we go it's saved now we go back over to our vector here and we go up here to import bitmap and right here's our file so it's open it up and here it is in here now we want to go over to the trace bitmap tool you want to click on it since this is a black and white photo just leave the black and white here you can leave these set as default right now um, you can play with these if the image is not as good so go down here and click preview, click apply, then click close. Go up here and turn your bitmap layer off. Now we have some down files that we can work with here. Now if you don't click on the node add-ins, you see the nodes and everything. Um, you know, we might need to clean these up a little bit, but they get you in the ballpark. Okay, well, what about a color photo? So let me find a different photo here. I think I'm making something for Halloween. So let me change this to any color. And let's click this one right here. Click File, click Save Image. Okay, I'm going to go back over to Vector here. Go to Import Bitmap. And here's our Ghostbuster Emma. So, let me make it just a little bit bigger here. Okay. Now I want to trace this. But you see here we've got color and then we've got black and white. So go back over to your trace bitmap tool, go up to the color one, and the first one I want to do is black. So you check the black box, then you go down here and you hit the black for here. And then go to preview and click apply. Close it and we turn our, our bitmap layer off. Now we have just the black layer. So let's name this one. So let's add a new layer and we'll call this one the red layer. So let's uncheck the box here, go back to our bitmap, make sure the red layer is highlighted here. Click OK. Hit your image to highlight it. Go back over to the trace bitmap. Still leave it on color. This time I'm going to uncheck the black box. I'm going to check the red box. And then go down here and change it to red. And then um, click preview. I 
apply. Okay. If we turn off the bit lay, if we if we turn off the bitmap layer, now we've got the layers just for the red. So we got a red layer, and I'm going to change it to the red color here, and leave the black one the black color. And this is all it is to trace a bitmap. Just remember, you want a high quality image. The bigger the image, the better the trace is. Uh, but this will let you do and do several different colors. Just go back and pick the color that you want, the closest to it. I hope this helps somebody out. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.